Hello, I'm so excited to present this exhibition. It's a, a Latino artist exhibition. All they are uh, from Latino, Central America, South America. Uh, we are here in the third floor of the public library. Um, the partnership of this project was uh, the, the executive, executive director, also Nouvelle for Creative that support me with the grant, Wicked Cool Places, and uh, uh, the other organization that was f uh, fundamental in this project was CADC, the Community Economic Development Center that is in Acushnet Ave in the north end of the New Bedford. And I'm so excited to show the people different paints and especially the way that the, these Latino artists are living the art. They did a very big effort to arrive to the United States, especially New Bedford, and they tried to keep working in their own project of art, trying to keep the culture alive and mm, connect with the community here, with the new society that they are living right now. Well, we are here with one painter, it's Fidel Castro Sincu from Guatemala, and Sofia, my daughter, that will, have, uh, that will help with the translation. Um, Fidel, uh, how do you, uh, what is your inspiration for making art? What does inspire you to make art? Eh, mi inspiración es eh, acerca de los paisajes y todo lo relacionado con mi pueblo de Guatemala. His inspiration it's everything that has to do with art and whatever it relates to Guatemala. ¿Cuál es su profesión? What is your, do you have a degree? En mi país eh, mi profesión es eh, docente, o sea, profesión de enseñar a a los niños. In my country, my uh, degree was on teaching education. Cuando, cuando usted trabaja, ¿dónde lo hace? When you work, where do you do art? Eh, acá cuando trabajo con las pinturas, normalmente en el apartamento donde vivo. Here when I do art, I make it on my apartment. I don't have a studio. ¿Qué cosas o qué temas lo inspiran para pintar? What does inspire you to paint? Por ahora me inspira mucho la naturaleza, eh, los paisajes que hay aquí en New Bedford, las playas. For now, uh, it inspires me the, the landscape, landscape. Um, Sí, sí. Me gustaría saber qué significó para usted participar en esta exhibición. I would like to know what does it means to you to participate in this exhibition. Para mí significa una puerta que se abre o muchas puertas, porque a través de ella puedo eh, dar a conocer a las personas. Mi trabajo. This means to open a lot of doors for me, to to get to know more people, to exp show, show my art to other people. ¿Usted sabía que es una exhibición solo de latinos? Did you know that this was only an exhibition for Latinos? Eh, sí, sí, prácticamente sí, para darnos a conocer y demostrarle a, la, a, a las personas que también tenemos talento, cultura y compartir con ellos. Yes, I knew uh, this was for uh, us Latinos to show people that we also have a talent and that we are able to show it to the other people, it's really valuable to me. La idea central desde que yo pensé en esta exhibición fue poder darle 
otra cara a la migración. ¿Qué le parece que, que se haya hecho esta, esta exhibición para poder mostrar que los migrantes no solo vienen a trabajar, sino que también tienen cultura que aportar? My main idea to make this exhibition was to uh, show other people that Latino people not only come here to work, also to contribute in, our, in the culture and art. Eh, sí, para, para empezar, agradecer a todos, a usted y a todos los que hicieron posible este evento para darles a, a conocer cada, cada arte y también para, para compartirles que les gusten el arte, todo lo que nosotros hacemos con los latinos. I think uh, Latino people um, are more than workers, they also really talented and um, our, um, our art, it's really valuable. They can contribute with the society, with art, culture, and the new idiosyncrasy uh, in, in this new life and the new country and this new city. I hope New Bedford can be uh, a place to show different artists, especially Latino, that they are unrepresented in general. Fidel, ¿nos puede explicar cuál es, qué lo motivó a hacer este cuadro de las aves? Fidel, can you explain us what motivates you to uh, make this painting about the birds? Eh, sí, eh, por los colores y lo que representa en mi país. Because of the colors and what me, it means for my country. ¿Y qué significa para su país? What does it mean for your country? Eh, significa lo que es la libertad. Son las aves que vuelan en el cielo y, y son admiradas por la gente. What it, mean, what it means is the freedom and how the birds fly through the air and how it relates to the people. Y con respecto a la fruta, ¿qué lo motivó, qué lo hizo hacer ese cuadro? And about the fruit, what motivated you to make that? Son las frutas que, la riqueza que, que cuenta el país de, de, de Guatemala. The fruit, it's about the enrichment of the uh, fruits in Guatemala. Y las flores que están abajo, ¿cuál es su motivación? And the flowers in the bottom, what was your motivation? Las flores que están acá eh, representa la mayoría también son cultivadas en el, la tierra de Guatemala. The majority of these flowers were uh, cultivated in Guatemala too. ¿Y qué hay de los animales arriba? Eh, ¿cuál, ¿Por qué es lo, los pintó? And what about the animals on top? Um, what, did you, uh, what did you paint them for? Eh, el cuadro de los caballos representa para mí la libertad. The painting about the horses for me represents his freedom. Y también representa esa libre expresión como persona sin importar la sin importar de dónde de dónde es. And also it uh, free it, it shows if, for me represents a free expression uh, of each people no matter where you're from. Y con el, con el otro cuadro del tigre representa la fuerza, la creatividad de cada persona. The tiger represents the force and strength of each person. Gracias Fidel por participar. Sé que no es fácil para los artistas que están viviendo en Bedford porque tienen que trabajar, pero ha sido eh, un placer poder tenerlo en la muestra. Thank you, Fidel, to participate in this exposition. I know it's not easy for um, the new Bedford uh, 
people because a lot of times they don't have time. Uh, but we appreciate much to uh, your participation in this exposition. Es un gusto, Paulina, y también muchas gracias a ti y a todos los que hicieron posible esta exhibición. I really appreciate this. I really appreciate your work, Paulina, and everyone that made this exposition possible. Here we are next to other artists, the work of Jimena Beltran. She worked with leather um, and usually used some design of a Concagua culture that come from the center of the Chile in the coast. And uh, he, she replicates some basil, but in leather. The way that she did this is uh, uh, give a shape uh, the leather and then she used some design in, in the different object that the, she replicate. Um, here we have a cultrun, it's a very special object. It's used for the woman of the tri tribal of the uh, uh, Mapuches, it's an indigenous, indigenous people from Chile, uh, for rituals. The woman called the rain and there she made different rituals. Also, we have a very special uh, pieces here that is a urna, that when the young kids die uh, in the old culture, put inside the body of the, the, the kids and all the stuff that they use it. Um, in general, all the time she is using some design signs from the indigenous people culture, Aconcagua Mapuches, um, and we have different stuff and color that they use it for the object. Jimena is in Chile right now. Uh, she lent me, lent me the object for present in this exhibition that is all related with Latino artists that is so important for me to give other uh, face for the migration. Not only the migration that the people are working hard all the time, but also they are culture and they want to keep the culture in their lives. We have a beautiful bag here up, it's also in leather. This design are from Aconcagua culture. It's a carving painter and she replicated this design in the, in the bag. And I think it's a very interesting way to uh, convey the culture from my country. Here are, uh, there are other artists, Jacqueline Ruiz. She's a very talented young artist and their painter are, the painting are very interesting. She speak about her, uh, her world that she feel in some way divided. She is from Guatemala and she is living right now in New Bedford. And all the time she want to study design or fashion and something related with art. Ana is another artist. Uh, she comes from Guatemala also and she has this kind of uh, paint of landscape and also she paint el quetzal. It's a bird that is or the origin of from Guatemala. I think she is a very young talent woman and she is starting like a hobby but she loves to doing and keep working in art, something special for her to transmit, to convey some message related with the, it's the situation from her that is in a new country, in a new world, to, to be immersed in a new culture.
Also, I want to mention other project right now uh, is in the library. This is a textile pieces uh, with collaboration of the community that live in a cushioned Ave in the north end of New Bedford. This piece is, is very uh, unique in the sense that the people are trying to convey the idea of ex the, the experience of them related with the migration. The, what thing they lived uh, when they uh, came to United States, uh, different experience. They are very beautiful work with a lot of meaning. And I think this piece is, uh, is uh, interesting in the sense that all people can be together uh, in the circle of art. The pieces that in the, in the center represent the sun. The sun is so important for the different culture of Central America, of South America, that is related with the time, is related with the harvest, and in, in general, related with the life. All people need sun for life. And this, each piece, this is a small piece, piece uh, figure, are waiting on uh, protecting these pieces in the sense that are protecting the people, protecting their life and protecting the right to be a person, a human in this world. <laughs>